Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'm just going to go through a quick better cap tutorial to show you how to inject some scripts into HTTP websites. I'm not going to go into HTTPS websites for now, maybe I'll leave that for the next video. So let's go into our Kali machine right here. And this is a script that I wrote. Uh, these are just comments, so you can ignore those. But this is the main script. So what this will do is every HTTP website that victims in the network open, it's going to replace all of the HTTP websites with this link right here. As a matter of fact, it will basically just, once you enter the HTTP website, it's going to take you to this link. And this is just a video of 10 hours of grass growing. It's the most quality content out there. Also, you have these two. Uh, this is the alert your cookie is and then the cookie uh, i mean you don't need this because obviously would use this completely differently javascript maybe send yourself some information but it is for the purpose of demonstration so i can show you guys how to do it and we also have the document dot write hello buddy sub the hawks framework which will just uh, replace the http site with this you can actually write html code inside i didn't want to make anything complicated and it's pretty simple actually just run better cap once you install it specifying your interface and then your interface you can check your interface using ifconfig or ipa and stuff like that so let's just press enter and there we go let's do help and now the first things we're going to do is we're going to do a net probe on and that recon on. what this will do is it's just going to spy the whole network for like ips and who's connecting to who it's not actually going to sniff the whole network so it's just going to like do some basic checking you can do net.show to see all the devices that are currently being called in this. For now, we're not doing anything uh, specific. So let's do help. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to run the ARP spoof because you always need ARP spoof. But on the HTTP proxy, we're actually going to have to set up some stuff. Now, of course, you can use JS inject from the caplets uh, just by using caplets. And right here, you have the JS inject. But I have some problem with it. I don't know, I just messed something up while switching up the um, caplets and stuff. So right now I'm just gonna show you the manual way, if you can call it the manual way. It's actually pretty much the same as far as the commands you have to do. So basically, how are we going to do this? Well, we're actually just gonna go ahead and change this HTTP proxy. So we're gonna go help HTTP proxy, and this is gonna give us all the settings that we can change. Now the only thing we care about is the HTTP proxy inject.js, but you can also add the HTTP proxy SSL strip. So let's copy this one, and let's go set, and HTTP proxy inject.js, and then the location of your script. I think my script name was script2.js, and it was. And we can set that, and we can also set SSL strip to true and help. And right now we're going to start the HTTP proxy. HTTP proxy on. And now we can just simply start the net sniff and start the whole thing because up until now everything seems fine. I can visit the HTTP websites and nothing's going to happen. And let's start net sniff on just in case. You always need some net sniff. By the way, if you want some HTTP websites, you have a like a whole list here and you can just visit some of them and it doesn't really matter we're just going to open a couple of them and if you go into one of these uh, for example whatever this is uh, i'm just going to reload the web page sometimes it's going to take Control shift and r because that's like full reload because this reload might be using the cache so let's enter and as you can see it redirected it to 10 hours of watching grass grow now let's try this on a couple of other http links and look at that 10 hours of watching grass grow, 10 hours of watching grass grow, <laughs> same thing. So basically everyone in my network right now who visits HTTP websites will actually get this video. Okay, so let's stop this. You can actually just switch the whole script uh, while you're doing it, but I feel like it's just more clean to stop it. Um, I don't know, it, it, sometimes it doesn't work if I switch it while running, you know, regardless of turning, turning on and off. So just restart this. And let's go back to the script and let's comment this out and let's put the alert. Well, let's add something else. I mean, not really. You haven't actually been hacked. It's just like, yeah, like I'm not doing anything with that cookie, but still. okay, it doesn't matter. Okay, so the same thing. And let's sniff on, and there we go, we are running. And now we can actually go into some other sites as well. And let's open them and see what goes. And we have, you have been hacked. 
your cookie has JS1 because this site uh, didn't set up the cookies uh, the way we expected them to. And as you can tell, some sites that I already visited actually reload the previous thing, but that's normal. Just use Control Shift and R once you're entering the sites. Well, I mean, obviously not right now because um, it, it happens pretty fast, right? Um, but this one, okay, this one's fine. Um, yeah, see? So your cookie has JS1. Now let's try something that we didn't visit. And it will say you have been hacked, your cookie, GA, blah, 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 GID. I don't think I need to hide this cookie because this is just like Google Ads cookie or something, but never mind. So the last thing that we want to do is let's uh, restart this and let's comment this, put this in. And you can actually use the HTML here. So let's do H1 and, um, yeah, and then like that. And then uh, B here and uh, B and P. There we go. All right, so let's reset this again just in case. And HTTP proxy on and uh, Nestniff on. There we go. And now let's open some websites that we didn't open. And it will actually do this. Sub the Hox framework, as you can see right here. And it says, hello, buddy, in H1. As, as a matter of fact, it picked up the site's H1. So this wasn't here before, I guarantee it. Uh, let's actually open a couple of more websites. For some websites, it will be like this. But for some websites, it will actually just like redirect it fully to a new document that says this. And as you can see right here, and there it is. Thank you so much for watching and have a nice day. And I'm sorry I didn't post much, but I will not be posting much because I am actually working right now. So, and I'm pretty busy doing that, but I'm actually learning a lot of stuff and um, it really means a lot to me. So I'm actually going to have a lot of content to, uh, well, I don't have anything in mind right now, but I know that I'm going to have uh, enough content to post on the channel. Uh, so there it is. Thank you so much for watching and have a nice day.